Hi, I'm Scott Penner. I'm the lead designer on uh, Eon Alter. Uh, I'm Christoph Sapinski. I'm the systems designer on Eon Alter. And uh, we're going to talk about mirroring. Uh, so uh, when we first started, we knew that we needed to have the uh, wizard mage archetype. Um, so Mirren fills that role, and uh, a couple of things we knew right off the bat, we didn't want this to be kind of like a wizened old wizard. Uh, we didn't want to build you know, the old man who knows everything. Uh, so Mirren has really become a little bit more of a wanderer. She's uh, an inquisitive soul uh, who just knows everything there is to know about magic and also happens to be really good at defensive magic. Um, so uh, when we first started, we wanted to make sure that the balance of our, of our characters uh, was a little bit more offensively powered. We didn't want a character that just stood back idly, uh, you know, throwing off fireballs and, and uh, using components to cast spells. So uh, one of the first things that we did is we started trying to make a character that could handle herself in post-combat, but really excelled if she got the chance to, to step back and use defensive, uh, sorry, really offensive magic. Um, so that's where Kristoff comes in. Yeah, uh, well, I really like Mirren. You guys are right, she's totally awesome. Uh, pretty much when I, when I looked at what she should do, I wanted to make somebody who would uh, pretty much throw fire into combat, always stay away. Uh, she, like other ranged units, always kind of stays away from her enemies because she doesn't want to get too close and has abilities to jump away uh, and, and damage them in a run. Um, she can do lots of damage to large groups of enemies. Um, so when we first started, uh, we uh, were starting to come up with the, the basic play behaviors of all of the different characters. And I remember, I think one of the first ones we started with was like maybe our a Crusader character. And had a very like common, you know, uh, rush into combat, attack, deal damage. But the, the fun thing with Mirren was that she had a really interesting cycle of, uh, of behavior. Do you remember all the steps? Yeah, she... There's pretty much three characters that kind of became archetypes for how the powers cycle and how range should work. So we had the Crusader character, the Guardsman, and uh, Mirren. And a lot of times it was just Mirren and the Guardsman or, <coughs> or uh, back and forth. And her main thing was she would uh, throw a damaging spell and then if the enemy came up to her she would jump away and then throw damaging spells again. And so she had this cycle where she would keep bouncing away and kind of pulling enemies back and forth while uh, characters like... Um... All right, we're back. We ran out of battery. Okay. And power cycle. So Mirren kind of typified the uh, range philosophy pretty much for the game. And uh, she would have pretty much almost all her powers were either about damaging an enemy at range while the enemy couldn't attack her, or getting out of range. Or getting out of engaged melee combat with an enemy, and uh, withdrawing to a safe distance. So I based the majority of her powers on that, but at the same time we wanted to keep a few of the, the cool little staff strengths and stuff in there to make it so that, she, you know, if, if you get up in her, her craw, she'll kick your butt. I think that's one, one of the things that makes Mirren so interesting is that like, a lot of other characters have a very defined role. Like Marcus, he guards, that's his thing. Um, but Mirren has this really cool uh, uh, kind of split personality. She can be really good at range and you can really focus on, on uh, upgrading fireballs and chain lightning. Um, but there are uh, abilities and traits that you can give her that actually make her a really qualified um, melee character. Um, but the thing that, that I, I actually find the, the, the coolest about Mirren is some of her energy stuff. Um, we, we have this great mechanic in the game where uh, as you uh, progress through combat, you, um, you earn energy, and energy is something that you use to uh, use new and more powerful spells. And, uh, and so for Mirren, she can actually uh, gift her energy to her allies, so she becomes a very useful, uh, basically a mana battery that she uses to help her allies in, in combat. She can actually suck energy away from the enemies too, so I found, the interesting thing I found about Mirren is that she has a lot of different builds that create a lot of really, really interesting strategy just within one character. I, I just like to have her jump in and burn everything, including her allies around her. Yeah, we've in early playtests we've found like the the one thing everybody says is their their most memorable moment is always that moment when when one of her teammates like Shazik decides to go in and attack a group of enemies and Mirren just lobs a fireball straight in 
and uh, it lights everyone on fire, including your friends. Uh, it's, it's always a fun, fun time.